Yeah, I can't believe that there's a, I can't believe there's a charity tab in the creator dashboard and they haven't talked to me. That is crazy. And another thing. It's so wild. Like look at this, you see this? Also good move over there. The streamer. That is crazy. Isn't that, isn't that wild? That is nuts. I woke up in a pool of blood this morning. I did blood for hey. the first time. Guys, hello, hello. Oh, there's chat. <laughs> um, what? I just woke up with a huge nosebleed. It's crazy. Oh, sorry. I don't know why. Also, oh, I work. I work till two a.m. and it was amazing. And Kayla was really mad at me. Work on what? We did a lot of that stuff. And cleaning the house and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. Not as exciting. It's a smart out there. Aren't you sick? I'm so sick. Hello. Um. You got alerts? Oh, there's a phone. Um, I was going to say something I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. Six stream? Yeah. I don't have a fever. Um, and I tested negative for COVID. Two days in a row. Um, but my throat hurts like a motherfucker. And I have a runny nose. I tried to take my nose ring. I took my nose ring out this morning because it sucks when I have a runny nose because it just like blocks everything because there's a post through it, right? I took it out for like 15 minutes and it already started closing. Isn't that kind of crazy? So I can't take it out. I had to like re-pierce it a little bit this morning. It hurt. Hey, so strawberry yoga covered pretzels. How's your money so far? Fine. How long do you have the piercing now? I mean, I don't know, probably like seven months or something. Six months? Put a toothpick in there when you take it off? Ew. No. sucks about having a cold is when you eat you can't breathe you really like open your mouth it's just a water bottle mouth for you Okay. I had a I had a call this morning. I have some news. I can give you guys some boring news before before we really get into it. Um I've been having lots of conversations about uh, my septic system for my tiny house. And uh I have to get two new systems um, for permitting. I have to get one at my tiny house and one down here for Ella's house and the nut house. Um, because the, the original owner of this property sucks. So it has to be redone. And 
originally we were going to do a bigger system, like instead of a 180 gallon system, like a 420 gallon system up at my tiny house, and then run line all the way down to, uh, to these buildings. But it's like between 500 and 800 feet wide. And uh, that's really expensive. And there's no direct, there's no direct straight shot of septic line that you could run there without going over electrical. So you'd have to do some turns. And my brother told me that um, poop doesn't like turning more than 40 degrees. Good to know. My brother's in construction. And he was like, you don't want your poop to have to turn more than 40 degrees. And I was like, oh, then we have a problem. That's correct. Hooray. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> no, <laughs> um, so that's in mine. Two septic systems now instead of one. Going between a, we can't do a normal leach field because of the amount of rock that we have out here, limestone. Um, so I have the option between a spray system and a low pressure mound system. And a spray system, literal sprinkler heads, you have to maintain it and like chlorinate it and, and uh, treat the water. And you have to have a maintenance contract where they come out quarterly and, and maintain your system. And then the mound system is more expensive, but it's more like a traditional septic where they only have to come out once every three years. And you don't have to maintain it and it doesn't spray everywhere. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with the mound system for both. Wet they'll know. Sounds like a move. Sounds like it's worth the extra extra cash. Dirty flamingo, thank you for the four months. Where's the stream phone now? Yeah. Alright then. Thank you. Child there was a child abduction yesterday. In Austin. She's a one year old girl. I'm not sure what happened with that. We haven't seen anything else. She was found safe. Oh, shit. That's excellent. I love your YouTube videos. YouTube! You guys, it, it sucks. It's like terrible timing to be this sick, but I said, keep extreme Thursday, people candle Thursday. I'm going to try to do people candle, and if it just sounds terrible, we're just not going to do it.
No, it's him. Man, the guest episode with Hassan. Audio is fucked. Just try and switch up for four I, I don't. Get real soon. Thank you. It's me, yeah, you cursed me twice now. Dude, there's audio issues on the Hassan episode. Infusion was like, it's, it's approaching unusable. And I was like, guys, or I was like, cutie. I don't care if it sounds exactly like the episode that we had to completely scrap. It's a Hassan episode. It goes out. We say that we apologize for the audio in the description, and it goes out as is. Like, Fusion's just got to do the best he can, and then we put it out. There's no way we're not putting it out. You know? I'm unfollowing you since I'm over my simping days. Alright. Peace. I'm sure you'll go find a woman with that attitude and mindset elsewhere. Best of luck, champ. Alright. So the plan for today is to hover. I asked Kayla and Ella if it's okay that I hover, and they said yes. So, um, that's what I'm going to do, but we're going to watch them do all their sessions today. <coughs> Orbit stream. Thank you for the 14 months. Camera woman. Honestly, we'll see how this goes. Guys. Don't freak out. I'm not making promises. But I really liked. Um, thank you. I really liked showing um, Kayla's session with Winnie recently. I think it was cool and good for you guys to watch. And if this is easy and it goes well and I'm not like two in their way. Maybe it could be another stream. You know? Um, and there's only, there's only three, I only do three streams a week, which makes Alveus 30% of my content, but if I do one more Alveus stream a week, that's 50% of my content, plus Animal Quest, plus Collabs, plus all the extra shit, plus Alveus Channel, and it's, it's approaching 70. My goal is for it to be 70 still. So, it could be really cool. We'll see how it goes today. I just don't want to get in their way. That's that's the biggest thing. Kayla and Ella have a job to do. Their job is to take care of the animals and make sure they're as happy as possible and that their welfare is like golden standard. You know, their job is not to be content creators. Um, and I, I think that that's pretty a pretty clear expectation. Thank you for the five. Um, and it's important to me that I don't impede their impede their work. But it should be fine. Thank you for the five. Axial Mars. P.O. Box stream is when. It's not the fourth because I'm gone. Um, it's not the seventh because I'm gone. It's, it's like the eleventh or something. Because I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm leaking. I will not be here. The fourteenth. It'll be the 14th. Thank you, Space. Um, break me down. A lot of people going on break that would be crazy. Yeah. Isn't the 14th more about it? No. I don't want to tell you what more about it is because I, I don't want to leak anymore. I don't want to leak. Uh, at all. Animal Quest is the 31st. Oh, Lord. The next Animal Quest is Chinchillas. It's on the... It's on the 31st. I actually have big announcements I need to have up throughout the day. One, thank you. Michael... Tojo? Oh, joke. Who died? Who Japanese? 
or a weeb. Um, uh, wow. Flying guy can I keep myself for 14 months a year? Thank you. Um, wow. Yeah, request. Animal Quest is on, thank you. Animal Quest is on the 31st. Botez collab. Botez Alvarez collab is on the 30th. And they just messaged me they're coming to Austin. You know what? Diam, can you make a graphic for them? Are you here? I know you have to make like a lot of graphics right now. But, could you make one? A quick one, perhaps. Hello. Wow. <coughs> Hawkish youngest call wow result for sixteen months. Thank you for the sixteen months. Um, that would be great if you could make if you could make a graphic. I, I think that it would be cool to Type up the collab a little bit. Dalton! Thank you. Anyway, they're, yeah, they're coming to Austin, so they're going to do a collab here on the 30th. And then Animal Quest is on the 31st. Guys, I had an existential crisis the other day. <laughs> I had an existential crisis, so I was like, I was crying because I was like, uh, Um, I was, how do I, show, how do I say it concisely? Um, I feel like I have such a small window because the nature of Alvarez is it's only as big as I am, you know, and it's only as successful as I am, like as Maya is as a brand, you know? And like, I'm, thank you, and I'm very aware that, uh, it's a it's a fickle platform to like book or to, to bank all of this on, you know, and, and like I could get perma, you know, like it's just like it's such a so I feel like I have a really short window and I have this huge opportunity in this massive platform and this demographic that no one else reaches and I was like, Am I doing the right thing with that time? You know, and with that demographic, uh, am I teaching them the right things? Is education even effective in conservation? How do I actually make a difference? Like, I want to make a tangible difference. You know, and I have lots of ideas. That's why I'm doing that study with Columbia. That's why I did that study with Columbia. Um, I think about it a lot. That's why I have, like, the recommendation section on the Animal Quest. That's why I developed Animal Quest. But I just got this, like, crushing feeling of, like, I don't, like, I'm not being effective, you know, or I'm not maximizing my impact or I'm not doing enough. So... I have five calls set up next week with conservationists because <laughs> I'm a little crazy and I messaged some people that I really respect that are in the industry, that are like in the field um, doing research and I was like, can you guys, or I asked them to hop on a call with me um, to give me advice on how they think I could use my platform most effectively and for their research that they're doing as conservationists, if they had the platform that I do, what would they, thank you, um, what would they want people to know? So I have those calls next week. It's just hard because I really don't have the qualifications for this. I'm an ag major and I've worked at a couple of zoos. And I'm a falconer and I'm learning as I go. But it's just such a big opportunity and it's such a massive platform to be working on the basis of trial and error because there's not a lot of time. And if it's the wrong choice, then I'm wasting it. Does that make sense? Knowing what questions to ask. 
The other thing that I realized, I think realistically, the most effective approach to conservation is attacking big industries, big corporations, and attacking poverty and getting people out of poverty and educating people that are actually on the ground where the endangered species are and helping them get out of poverty so that they're not contributing to illegal exports and things like that. I think those are probably the, the two most powerful things that can be done in conservation. However, for me, because I have the platform, I think that education is the most effective thing I can be doing right now. Like imagine I, do, I wasn't teaching people, even though there's thousands of people to teach, like at my fingertips, and I just went off and like lobbied against a corporation as an individual. That wouldn't make very much sense, you know? So, I think that I, I think that I'm in the right place doing education. People come, wow. Thank you. Red surfs for 32 months, 32 Maya Hyok. Thank you. Um. Thank you. Um, some would say that's a big waste of an untapped reservoir. People protect what they love, they love what they understand, and they understand what they're taught. I think my responsibility is at the teaching level. I just need to learn how to push it to a tangible level. Like how to, how to pass the torch up the ladder, you know? into people actually doing something more than just the awareness, more than just knowing that there's a problem. Axial Mars sucked for the first time. But I do think it needs to start at the teaching level, and I think that that's the most powerful thing I can be doing. I just want to be teaching people the right thing, the most effective thing. Anyway. That does not sound right. What? Lucky Square. <laughs> Thank you. Can I say, Lucky Square just subbed up tier two for nine months. Well. Anecdotal with the stream changed a lot for me. That's very nice. Thank you. <sighs> Brian is really struggling. No child, thank you. I could read your dono, but Brian's choking. Oh. Hello? I made my mom buy certified no humane. Okay, okay, that is sick. think are effective. One being, I genuinely think that there are thousands, thousands of people that are not going, that would not get a pet, an exotic pet, that may have otherwise considered it because of my stream. I think that the pet trade talk that I've done is big. And I think the not a pet thing has actually been pretty effective. I think, I think that there are people who may have considered a parrot or something before, or like who wanted a monkey or something, and now understand that that's not cool. Um, and I think that uh, the the food labels are okay, but it was just one stream. It just I just need to do more with it. Um, and then I do think that there's a very slow shift that's happening in my invertebrate program. Um, I think that there's a lot of people oh, wow. that are really grossed Texas out. Thank you. For that are really grossed out by the roaches. Um, but I am seeing a shift in chat when, when I'm like, when you get to know pickles, you know, and like when you get to know the roaches. And one of my proudest moments with Alveas is when I had to euthanize that female roach and chat was really sad about it. 
Um, when chat was like, no, Barbara, that meant a lot to me. And I think that that's, I think that that is a tangible, real shift in thousands of people. Um, so I think that that's important. Um, but I just want more tangible stuff. I just, I just want more, I just want to make sure that I'm, that I'm making an impact. Like I really, I want to make a difference and I want to make the, I want to make the right choices. And you know, in this time that I have with a platform. So I think that those, those conversations with conservationists will help. I do think that's the best I can do. Education is where I should be because I have the platform. I just want to talk to the right people so I can get their messages across. Like, what would you want people to know about your work? What would you want people to know about conservation? Um, I think that'll help me a lot. Urban Rescue Ridge. Urban Rescue Ridge asked me to go cliff diving. I told him I'm sick. I am sick, but I'm also scared to go cliff diving. I'm a co-chair for the American Ornithological Society's Student Council. Oh. If you ever need more connections to people who can help you with your goals, I am more than happy to help. As a fellow conservationist, this is a huge deal. That's cool. Oh, thank you so much. That's dope. I appreciate that. I could be the three months. Um, I gotta pee. Um, so I have an idea. Um, I don't think you guys have met. We have three new ambassadors. Um, that have kind of happened. Not like crazy. Like oh, I'm announcement. Like they're all chickens. Um, but it's kind of stuff that had to be done. But you haven't, like, you've... Thank you. Hooray! Cool. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'm coming down a little too hard on... on myself. I don't know this. Oh, I don't know. A little imposter syndrome. Anyway, um, you guys have met Polly on the Alvea stream? Um, but not on my stream. So, quick explanation, or as quick as I can. Nugget got a prolapsed, Nugget, Nugget had a prolapsed anus, our, our hen. Um, so she had to get a surgery a few weeks ago. Um, and uh, she had to be, she had to be inside. And Oliver is alone outside, so we had to get hens. Thank you. We had to get hens because um, you can't have chickens alone. That's just like not how they work, you know? They can't live by themselves. So we got hens from my neighbors. We got two hens that are just free range hens. So they're scared of people, um, but mostly to keep all of our company. So we have two hens for that. I got another hen from our vet who is getting beat up by her other chickens. She's got a deformed beak. Her name is Polly. She's a silky. Um, and our vet breeds silkies and whatever, and she was like, this one does not fit into my flock if you want her. And I was under the impression that she'd be much bigger, so she could add, she could be an addition to our flock. But Polly is like, small. And I told the vet, I was like, okay, if she doesn't work out in our flock, is it okay if I bring her back? And the vet was like, absolutely, because our vet's amazing. Um, and, but then, but she's been in the nut house, and we're not giving her back. Uh... Because we're obsessed with that's right. You guys also saw Polly on Canute stream. Um, so I'll just go. We'll just go do a, a little Polly can right now. Um, I would riot. Yeah, me too. We'll just go do a Polly can because there are people here. Um, and I gotta pee. So you meet Polly, and then we'll go meet the other the new hen ambassadors. Um, we didn't have you guys to name them because I haven't been here to stream. Thank you. Thank you for the thank you for the twenty five months. Wow. Um. Because I haven't been here, we didn't have you guys to name them. So as a joke, we've been calling the two hens Henrique and Henrietta, <laughs> but they've kind of stuck. So that might be their names. 
Hello, Kayla. Hello. The stream is live. I'm doing a poly cam because I have to pee. Poly cam. Poly. Chat. Oh my god. Okay, here's Polly. There you go. I'm gonna pee. In the nut house. Hello, sorry. Hold on. Will she ever not be in the nut house? I don't know. She's really small and she's not getting bigger, big enough. She likes worms and grapes. That's her own container of scratch. She has her own scratch wow. container. Can you guys see? Look, she's got extra toes. You see that? Do you see it? Polydactyl pocket. Pint size Polly. Pint size Polly. Miss Pocket. My dad called her Miss Pocket. Miss Pocket. You good? What the hell? What's that? Why? Um. So Polly is a silky, which is why she's just like a lint ball. Their feathers are like that. <laughs> Her head looks like that because um, those are all new feathers growing in. That's why they have the, the shaft still around it. If you could see that. I don't know how good the camera is right now. Can you see her beak is crooked? Feathers? Yeah. That's part of the breed standard. 
Anyway, Polly might just end up being a uh, nut house chicken. <laughs> she might just be a mascot. Also an ambassador. She is an ambassador. Uh, but or we build something small for her eventually. But for now, uh, she's for now she's in here. <laughs> No, <laughs> not another one. <laughs> Nut house mascot. She looks like a plushie, dude. The poly plushie's gonna go so hard. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Hello, Polly. Look at this. Start kennel work. Anyway, that's Polly. She's just a lot smaller than I expected her to be. So, she lives in here. She's put on a bit. She's put on 50 grams. She's put on 50 grams. 40 grams. Like 40 grams. I 40 grams. Yeah. I put Polly's crush underneath. Oh, big time. She is like a sentient dust ball. Alright, you guys want to go see the other hens? Um, what is y'all's plan today? When should I start following you and hovering? And where? Okay. Do you want help anything keeping related? Okay. All right. Does her crooked beak make it hard for her to eat? No. Okay. Chat Nugget is still recovering from surgery. She's in here, but she's okay. Look, she can have a worm. I don't think she's going to recover any more than she has, like, like physically, in terms of physically recovering. Another worm. Like, keeping her out isn't going to change that. So yeah. I was like, are we just delaying, delaying the inevitable? We don't know what it'll be like when we put her in there. Right. There's no way to know until we do it. So if things go wrong, we just take her back out. Yeah. Hello, Polly. This place is just all birds. No, <laughs> we have other things. They're just chilling right here. <laughs> we have lots of mammals. Hey, come here, show them. Show them. That's true. Sounds like a bird to you. You can't tell right now. Like the little ones? I think I'm sexually mature at six months. So the biggest of the little ones might be close out. Mm-hmm. I think we said before October. So maybe we could look at some of the Some of them are pretty big. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that is. I don't see us getting it 100% right, and the sad thing is that even if we get it 99% right, it doesn't matter. Right. Right. I just wish they laid eggs. It'd be so easy to call eggs. Well, they do. They have little egg casings. But they're not always... The first one that we... We've only seen one. Yeah. But they're not... That's not supposed to have... They're supposed to give, like, basically live birth. Me. Like, they're supposed to just crawl out. Me. Chat, what we're talking about is we started with seven roaches. Seven Madagascar hissing roaches. And now we have close to 80, and we're, <laughs> and we're talking about we're talking about trying to separate them by sex, which is really hard to do because they're cockroaches, right? 
and it has to be 100% correct, because if we accidentally leave a male in with all the females, then they all get bred, all of them. And cockroaches don't lay eggs, they give ovovivaporous birth, which is they keep the eggs inside them, and then all of the little cockroaches crawl out. So we can't cull eggs, like we can't squish eggs or get rid of eggs. So we have to try to sex them and separate them. Why would you do that? What did you think I did? <laughs> what did you think that we did? We're just taking care of them, and they're thriving and breeding. I can't tell them to stop. Yeah. Christy Mox, thank you for the four months. Infinite cockroach glitch, guys. We've got some time before the ducks need extra space, but I'm optimistic. Guys, we have big news today, but we're going to go meet the hens, and then I'll tell you about the big news. It's in regards to isopods. <laughs> Kayla's so excited. I'll, I'll spoil it before. I am going to try to get them on camera today. Um, this is not a drill. Uh, I received a family photo yesterday. The rubber duckies bred. They bred. There are baby baby rubber duckies. We'll see if you can see them today. If not, I'll show you the picture of what Kayla took yesterday. Are you guys ready to meet Henrique and Henrietta? <coughs> Oh my god, this is so sick. Educating is absolutely one of the most important and effective things you can do. It goes hand in hand. Lobbying, education, because you don't see the same immediate tangible as a, but it's crucial to... Yeah, you know, the other thing that I think about is when I think about organizations that I really have a lot of respect for, you know, like Wolf Conservation Center, San Diego Zoo, um, any AZA zoos truly, Every one of them has an education program. So, I know it's important, you know? I know it's important. Hello? How long have you been sick? Two days? Hi. Hi, Oliver? Can we meet your new girlfriends? Oh my god. What the heck? He's rabid. 50,000 bits. Neat stuff. Keep on keeping us dummies educated. 50,000 50, bits? Is that $500? People have, wow. Raw Ricker is up for five months. Fellow sick but not COVID friend less than three. U.S. Fanco gave me 50,000 bits. Hello? Well, thank you so much. Oh my god. Neat stuff. Thank you. Okay, well, oh my god. Okay, here's Oliver. You already know. He's alive. <laughs> And introducing Henrique. Fifty thousand bits, no problem. What? I appreciate what you do. Are you doing that on accident? Are you meaning to do like five hundred? TTS is five dollars. <laughs> Ow, Ollie. Thank you for the bits. Chat, what do you think of Henrique? Henrique came from my neighbor's property. Henrique? Yeah, like Henrique, but she's a hen. She came from my neighbor's property. She's been free range. She's over five years old, but she can't tell me how old she actually is. She just knows she's at least five years old. I don't know, we just met. Well, she's pretty cool. She's half Brahma, half Saipan. S-A-I-P-A-N. I don't know that breed of chicken. I need to do more research. 
<laughs> yeah, Henry Gay. I don't know what color eggs she lays. I would guess she's brown egg stock, but I'm not sure. She's got some feathers on her legs and she's got really strong legs. Oliver's here too. They're friends. Henrique, where's Henrietta? Anyway, she's really pretty. She's wet right now because the misters were on and they were standing out here in them. Um, but Oliver's Oliver's happy. Um, they're friends. Huh, you have a new friend. Now you're not alone in here anymore. Hey. Henrique is not skinny. She's actually pretty solid. But yeah, she's got really beefy legs and a really short tail. It's crazy how differently they can be built. I, I legit don't know where Henrietta is. I mean, she's got to be in there. Wow, she's flappy. She's cute. Um, she doesn't eat out of our hands yet, but she she'll get there. Anyway, me and Connor literally just went over to my neighbors. We, we asked her if we could have two more hens because we needed more hens because of the surgery. And she's like, yep, come on over. So we just brought a net over to my neighbors and grabbed the first two hens that we could. <laughs> and so Henrique was one of them. And then um, and Henrietta's in here. We uh, quarantined them for two weeks as well. Henrietta. Here's Henrietta. She kind of looks like, thanks, um, she kind of looks like Oliver, she's a black jersey giant, and she's molting, that's why her neck looks like that, and why her tail looks like that. Black jersey giant, um, is, she's actually really big, you can't really tell because she's sitting, but, uh, She's a really big hen. It was on purpose. I'm bringing the fan animation. We got rained out on Monday. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, hi! Wow! Wait, that that is so nice. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that, that guy. Oh, US Fan Co. It's the fan guy. This is the guy that's donating the giant fans. Okay, I am gonna have to make that donation because the bits go, the bits aren't connected to Alvarez's account. Account. They're connected to my account. Um, the donations are connected to Alvarez's PayPal, so I'll just send Alvarez a thousand dollars. Thank you so much. He's donating some big, like industrial fans to Alvarez, like massive fans, like the the big guys, for cooling. Anyway, um, hand for reference. She doesn't like hands, but. She's a big chicken. Anyway, that's that's Henrietta. <sighs> Henrietta's pretty cool. Um, she's big, which is good. Um, Oliver needs to have bigger hens in here because Nugget is small, and he kind of bullied her because she was because she's small. So now Nugget will be way better off in here because there'll be a couple hens to mediate, you know. So far the backpack's been working, huh? We're on a new live view today, guys. Oh, you okay? Thank you. Um, she looks like an Australort mix. Oh, my neighbor said she's half Brahma, half Saipan. I don't know. Look, our canna lilies are blooming. How pretty are these? Kind of cool. That's what canna lilies look like. Um, also, oh, that's what I meant to say. Someone was like, must be so sad being locked up in a room. 
Um, this is the room I was in, but they have a dog door between the room and this outside part. The outside part is 10 by 20 feet, so she's got plenty of space to go outside. She just wants to be inside right now. Hey, what are you doing over there? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Come over here. Come here. Hello, come on. What are you doing? Come on. I don't want to step in there. Come here. Good girl. Why are you on the wire? What do you think? What are you doing? The camera. What are you doing over there? What do you think? I don't have sunflower seeds for you. But we'll do a session with you later. She goes, I don't know. <laughs> huh? Siren. Siren. <laughs> Where's Mia? Mia? What the fuck? Dude, what? You scared me. I could not find her. What are you doing? Uh. <coughs> uh, okay. Uh, I need a big fucking stick. I don't think this is long enough. Hiding from the misters, honestly, maybe. Okay. Oh, Mia, there's no way, hon. That's way too tall. Oh, it's not even close. Can you get to this part? Oh, Mia? No, I need a ladder. all the ladders are up where they're supposed to be which is great but I need one down here right now we have new mounts in the aviary check this out whoa that's actually mounted into the wall can you believe it This is the longest stick I have. It's not time travel, I'm just really fast. close like you say that like oh my god I'm not like I know that 
that I'm not close. I was just seeing if she could get over the, the horizontal bar. Because if she could get on this wire panel, I would not have a problem picking her up from here. But she can't get past that horizontal bar. You understand? And no shit, I'm not close. I need a ladder. I don't have a ladder. up at the laundry room or barn. Okay. Mia's like all the way up at the top. I don't think she can get over the horizontal beam to get down. I can bring you light. That would be great. Thank you. Okay, Connor's gonna. Connor's gonna break my wire now. I guess. I know. I'm really sorry. Oh my god. Why? It's a nice place to chill. Sorry, we're, we're waiting for a lot. How are you guys doing? Anyways. <laughs> I have to pee again. Isn't that crazy? I feel like I have to pee way too much. Uh, we're halfway there. Uh, apparently up there. That's actually insane. Really? Yesterday I was watching a Netflix show and I, I had to get up to pee four times in an hour. I feel like that's a lot. <clears throat> but I've been drinking a lot of water because I'm sick. <laughs> You're inhaling water? I've just been drinking a lot of water. I don't have a UTI. I had a UTI, but not anymore. Thank you for the four months. Have you been tested for diabetes? No. Why? Is that a thing? a lot because I'm sick. You know what I've been watching on Netflix? A show called Alone. Have you guys heard of that?
That's that's what I'm saying. Nope, you're going for a check. Get special attention for flying. She really does prefer the men. She really does. Oh yeah, good training, Connor. Good work. Consistency is key. Oh my god, your nails are so sharp. I, I told you the littles are really sharp. I'll catch them up. And trim all them soon. safe things going on right now, please use a scaffold. A scaffold? I set up a fucking scaffold in here to catch a bird? It took like two seconds. We're fine, everybody's fine. This is loose as shit though, it's stressing me out. Not that there's this. You're under six feet, you're fine. Did that look sketchy? I felt fine. I felt fine out there. Get an elevator. Being on the mesh, yes. Okay, Bernie. Bye, Mia. Goodbye, Mia. Oh my god, Henrietta is... Oh, it's not Henrietta, it's Oliver. Thank you for the 17 months, that's great. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Henrique! I'm your biggest fan! You want to go see the baby cow? I have a development for you. She has been released. Thank you, the eight months. Cali Bear. No, I'm going to go see baby cow. Chickens aren't hard to care for now. I think they're actually really easy. Chicken? Oh, he's backing up. Let's see if Mia does it. Backing up. Backing up. She didn't do it. Hi, Ticket. Ticket. Goats. <laughs> it's actually goats. Look at them. Oh, you can't see them, but they're running away from the car. Hello, chicken. How are you? Stompy's getting older, you know what that means? He's getting curly feathers, you see these? Look at him, like a manual. Curly. Stinky. Hey, stinky.
Hi, Fudgy. It's hard on a downhill. Let's go find baby cow. I told you, she's free. Good boy. Hi. Baby cow. <laughs> Pasture girl. Thank you, buddy. Good boy. You know, for not having an arena and not, like, riding a Sarah regular and asking much of him, he still is, like, so good. He still does such a, like, he just, he turned when I asked him to, he went forward when I asked him to, and he stopped when I asked him to. That's pretty impressive. I haven't, like, really asked of anything from a Sarah, certainly nothing performance related for over a year. He's a good boy. What? Is that a rat? Don't peck my horse when I'm on him. Don't. Don't. Ow. What the heck? I think that's a chicken. Oh, sorry, bud. You okay? He just tried to itch and he got my ankle. Are you itchy? Itchy. Anyway, Winnie is, uh... Winnie is... out now. Winnie's just a little scared of Stompy. But otherwise, she's doing really well in the pasture. She's free. You're hurting his back. No, um, I weigh just under 100 pounds, and he weighs 1,100 pounds. Um, I'm not asking him to do much. I'm just sitting on him there. He's all right, trust me. If I rode him for like an hour and I was asking him to like really move and really, you know, put his hind end under him and, and do a lot of lateral work or something, then it, it would be different. Oh, but I'm sorry. Um, but he's all right. Huh, are you okay? He's okay. Hi from Spain. Hello. Oh, happy birthday. Very cool. Baby cow's pooping. Oh no. She doesn't like Stompy. I win. Boy. Hey, check this out. Remember how we had this stupid thing? Oh, he wants out. You want to go out? <laughs> I think he's telling me he would like to be free. I can free you if you want. You go. You gotta get your yeah your shoulder around it. <laughs> oh my god! Don't free the chicken. No chicken. Only horse. Hey. 
he wanted to be free. We had some rain, so we actually have some grass right now. I think he noticed. You can't go out because you'll eat all the metal and then you'll die. That's okay. You can stay in here where it's safe. Anyway, we had a we had this big the the hose thing, you know, that I had to crank by hand to roll it up. Now check it out. Connor mounted this. This was a wish list item. Retractable hose. Are you kidding? How sick is that? Ill nasty. It's so nice. <laughs> it's so much nicer. Wish list. Connor, guys, Connor wanted me to hype up a table saw on the wish list um, because it's like $300, which is a lot, and I told him that if it's off the wish list, that's fine, but I did not give him permission to go buy a table saw for $300 from Home Depot because we have a circular saw, um, and I was just like, you're going to use it for one project, and then it's just going to sit. Like, you don't need to buy a $300 saw. But he really wants one. So if you want to buy it for Connor, um, we have to do some cutting of, of some plywood sheets for the crow enclosure um, this upcoming week. So, or not this upcoming week, within the upcoming few weeks. That's not too much. It's not bad. It's just, it just just feels unnecessary. See, Winnie doesn't like chicken. Go, she subbed for the first time. Is she being mean to you? Rogerong was up for 12 months. Is she being mean? You don't like the chicken. Winnie got a new halter yesterday because she's grown out of her baby halter. It's still pink though. <laughs> but she got a new one. baby cow um, and we've been practicing picking up her feet because she's gonna need her feet done soon can I have your foot wow baby cow so nice thanks thanks yeah she's out permanently now bye look at those lashes whoa Hey, I don't want you to walk into me. It's getting too big for that. Get a big scratching brush. Yeah, so I'll show you what, what Winnie's situation is right now. And that's that, uh... She does have a scratching brush. She still has her own stall. And she's got a scratching brush right there, but she doesn't really use it. And she's got her own water, and this is where she eats her grain. It's a little redneck, but her system currently is this rope because she's the only one that can fit under it. <laughs> uh, Stompy can't. If her neck goes that low, she'll topple. Um, obviously, a sarrow can't, and the donkeys can't. So if she wants to go in, um, she can go in the stall, but only she can fit in there. It works. So if she wants a break, she can have it, but she prefers staying out in the pasture now. I got a new goat. <laughs> you guys want to meet her? Oh, I don't know how all that is working. More goats? Yeah, just one new goat. Um, no, just Kylie. Uh, you guys have met her on the Alvea stream, but uh, I got my two goats from my neighbor, the same one I got the hens from, Enrique and Henrietta. And uh, she still had Kylie's mom. Kylie's, or Beetle's mom was the only goat still at her property. And she asked if I wanted Beetle's mom and I was gonna get a third goat anyway. So I got Beetle's mom. This is Beetle. And that's her mom. 
Kylie. Her name's Kylie. Um, they look the same. <laughs> the only difference is uh, Kylie doesn't have a white spot on the top of her head right there, and Beetle does. Reunited. And then there's Oatmeal, who sucks, but she's still here. Huh. Anyway, this is Kylie. She's pretty sick. She's a year older than Beetle. Just over a year older than Beetle. But she's really sweet. She's just like Beetle, except she never headbutts. And now I have a herd of doubts. Oatmeal wants pets too. I don't believe you. Why does oatmeal suck? Because she headbutts. She's really mean. Kylie! Anyway, Kylie's really good. She's like a bodyguard when you're walking with Beetle and Oatmeal because she's in charge. Um, if you just get in between Kylie and Oatmeal, then Kylie will headbutt Oatmeal for you so she won't headbutt you. Hi, B. Hi, I don't have anything for you. <laughs> I have nothing. Dolly. Guard goat. Roo, 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 roo. Hello. Okay. Exciting. Aww. Hooray. I read that before Brian said it. And I thought it said... Is that a rat? Um, I thought it said completely infuriated by all the animals. I was like, oh, you should probably turn it off. Um, but thank you. Yay, I'm glad your dog likes it. Ah! Oh my god. Hi. Why did you scream? The boss is here. Oh my god. <laughs> They're scary. Okay. So I've heard. Thank you for the two months. Are you, what? Are you going here? Yeah. Oh. I'm leaving. Oh, you're leaving. No, okay. I'm doing a Georgie cam because I gotta pee again. Oh. Okay, bye. Goodbye, Connor. <laughs> I don't know why he's screaming like that. Um, I'm actually really proud of Connor. I think he's finally like he was doing great before. Like I had no complaints before, but I think the subathon really helped him hit his stride. You know. Like, I think he feels way more confident on stream. I think he really is happy, you know? I think he's really figured it out. Do you want a Georgie cam or you want a noodle cam? Hurry. Noodle is the python, carpet python. Georgie is Georgie. Whoa. Oh, people say noodle. We'll do noodle because we do Georgie a lot. Okay, but you can't let her out, okay? I'm sorry, it's a noodle cam, but we'll do a Georgie cam later today, I'm sure. I have to pee an absurd amount. Yay, thanks! You can talk to her. But here's the... Brian is sitting here with you. Don't let her out, the door's open.
Well, Satan donated five dollars. This is your chance, noodle. Oh, wow. Hey, man, you take this up for five months, noodle. I don't actually trust you guys to not let her out. So I had it on my phone and I saw all that and I was like, oh god, wait, they actually can't do anything if she leaves. That was really cute though. She's just checking out the cam. And now she's asleep. That boy done this quarter and eighty five dollars. Thank you for the five. She's curious. When I was I was with Ella in the nut house and I was like, you don't think she's gonna strike at the can, do you? Because the wind muff is fuzzy. So I was like a little nervous. But... I buy Angel Baby seven thousand six hundred and sixty four is up for ten months. Thank you for the ten months. Alright, you guys pray. I'm gonna try to show you rubber duckies right now. Actually, yeah, okay, ready? People talk, wow. Mark is up for thirty. Shut up, months. everybody be quiet. Marquette, thank you for the sub. <gasps> Chatters, this is not a drill. 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 They exist. They exist and they're thriving. This is a rubber ducky isopod. I know you wouldn't know what it looks like because you've never seen them before, but we've had them this whole time. Chatters, this is not a drill. There is a baby rubber ducky. Right where my finger is. Oh my god, it's moving. Do you see the baby rubber ducky? They're breeding. Family photo. Take a screenshot. You're never going to see them again. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Their little face. Stare. Anyway, that's a rubber ducky. And that's a baby rubber ducky. Tiny little baby rubber ducky. And now we'll leave them alone forever. And then we also have a bunch of, uh, what we thought were powder orange, now we're learning our Spanish orange isopods. Um, Look, these are all babies, all babies, big adult, and they're all over. You see them? Those guys are thriving. Bonus bug. Can you believe we started with one, we just started with BB, and we thought it was just going to be her, and these are all BB's babies. It's all from one bug. And then there's the zebras. <laughs> uh, the zebras have had no issues um, and will continue to have no issues thriving. Zebras and 
hear zebras. Baby zebras. Oh no, Marty. Yeah. Yeah. Marty, go back in. Go, Marty. When will they need a bigger enclosure? Soon. And here's the plan. Georgie is in this enclosure. Georgie's going to move into this enclosure, 125 gallons. We're gonna do land, water, land, ecosystem. Some isopods are gonna go in here because it's gonna be a live ecosystem. There's gonna be real plants in there. Into Georgie's enclosure is gonna go the female hissing cockroaches because there are so many and so many babies and they need more space. So these guys are going into Georgie's current enclosure. Georgie is moving up into the big enclosure. This enclosure is going to be empty, so the zebra isopods are going to go in this enclosure. Hank is going to go in the zebra isopod enclosure. And then we need, and we're getting a bigger enclosure for the... See, they can climb glass, I told y'all. This is why we have to put Vaseline at the top. They can't climb Vaseline, but they can climb glass. Oh! Sorry. I was trying to use you as a demonstration. God, the little ones are so fast. Can somebody climb glass as a demonstration? No. Baked bean is not dead. He's fine. Hank is still on strike. He hasn't eaten in a while, but he's fine. Sometimes he just goes on strike and he doesn't eat. But yeah, we're doing like a bunch of musical enclosures to get to get everybody into bigger enclosures. Patchy had an enclosure that was ordered. It's about the size of this table, but obviously taller. Um, so Patchy's going to move back in here um, and go into a bigger setup as well. He exists. Oh, guys, he's still here. We'll see. I thought that was him, it's not. Oh god. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Hank, where are you? I don't know. He's under somewhere. They burrow, guys. It's it's like so hard to to find him. sleeping. He's on strike. 
He wants to be left alone. Let's go let Nugget back outside. She's ready after surgery. I've never seen him before. Really? Not even on, there was that, maybe that was before your time. That He was on a microscope stream. Hello. There's a rubber ducky on the log. They saw the rubber ducky. And a baby rubber ducky next to the adult rubber ducky. It was life changing. Is Hank going to turn into something? No, he's a he's a millipede. That's what he is. <laughs> Don't look at license plates. Close your eyes. Do you want to? You don't want to drive her down, Kayla? He's not going to evolve into a butterfly. Don't millipedes become spiders? No. They're different. He doesn't evolve into any- guys, it's- he's- that's what he is. He's not going to evolve into anything else. <laughs> it's just, he's, a, he's a millipede. That's it. Not with that odd suit, okay. Alright. Oh god. Oh god. They're coming. Hello. It's been a few. She's fighting? Get him, Nugget. <laughs> you tell him. You tell him. Just give it a second. <laughs> Enrique is <laughs> concerned. <laughs> Chat, you have to wait. Hi. Sorry. Backpack is confusing. Yeah, so Nugget's been Nugget's been in the nut house for a few weeks. So we're introducing her to new hens and back to Oliver. But Oliver's being a shithead. So Oh my god, he's rabid. We were thinking. 
thinking about it because he and Nugget seem to be having a little bit of a standoff situation. Do you want to read? Well done. Sweet. Chaser. How long has it been since the prolapse? Like few three weeks. It happened during the Yeah. Yeah, she had a prolapsed anus. Welcome back. Hi, Nugget, Welcome. you're outside. Oliver is crated. Because he's Oliver's rabbit. Like, er, Nugget's like, dust bath! <laughs> <laughs> you're outside Hi. again! Thanks, Henry. Nuggets welcome home party. Stompy's being loud. Yeah, she hasn't even like checked out the brand new chicken that she's never met. She's got a babe. Nugget wants, Nugget wants to dust bathe, oh my god. <laughs> she said it's time for a bath. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. She loves dust bath. Are you happy to be back outside? <laughs> Enrique, new friend. Nugget's tail is pretty sick. Yummy. Oh. No, the chicken doesn't turn into anything either. It's just you a chicken. Also want some what do you think? Her and her and Henrique are cool. Fast friends. I may have spoke. Oh, see. Maybe Enrique is just a very agreeable chicken. She and Oliver also seem very fine. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I turned on the, the alerts because the rubber duckies. <laughs> I did not want to disturb them. Thank you for the tier 3 red mask. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it was definitely Nugget. nugget. <laughs> she, Chill. Time out. Oh my god. Everybody, chill. No one is chill. I want to be held. I'm going to let Oliver out. Cool. Okay. Yeah, he's making a hurry. Honestly. People pop. Wow. 
Super oh my team god. Chris up for 36 months. How do you be a cool three years canoe? Thank you so much. Three years, super genius. Thank you. Oh my god. Henrietta. <laughs> that was a half attempt at a mating there, Oliver. Henrique's like, I'm just gonna take this tomato, this chill on your boat, thanks. You're doing fine. Good chicken. Alright, now I got let's try this again. Oh my god. Be nice. No. <laughs> okay. What the hell? <laughs> Guys, Henrietta is staying out of it. I just saw her on the on a roost in there. Yeah. Or like 30 she was minutes there ago. This Are you dust bathing? Is that nice? She's hiding. Is she not there? I can't see behind me like that. Uh, oh. Sorry, am I like in your way? <laughs> okay. That was good. Baby cow. Underscore Lord resub for 26 months. Hello. Hello. Thank you for the 26 months. This is a drama farm. Rouse. Good. I think Nugget is like equal parts content and get out of my house. Yeah.
very pog. All right. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Third hen hasn't even come to say hello. I don't think Henrietta does very much. She's just roosting. Henrique has a lot to say. <laughs> Look, donkey. I see donkeys. And Kylie, backing up. Hi. Donkey. Donkey. Good. People pop, wow. And one shell resubbed for two months. Thank you, the two months. Be tall. Ooh, it got bright. What are you doing? Thanks, and Alex, for figuring out what we're doing tomorrow for coding expenses. Oh. Uh, all day coding. Fun. One session. So. Oatmeal's letting me pet her right now. She's been pretty sweet. Pretty we're sweet. friends. It's that third goat that's helping. Matcha. You like matcha? My best friend. Yum. Oh no. Get your horns away from me. Do you want some matcha? Nice goat. Nice goat. Wow. Itchy. No, don't touch me. Is she here? No? Is she here? Okay. People pop, wow! Gboss 90 subbed for the first time. Thank you for the sub. Goat hiking stream when? When it's not a million degrees? no fun for me or the goats or the backpack <laughs> playing with fire I know that was nice though look at that she just walked away do 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 guys we uh got the UTV UTV is gonna get delivered they're supposed to be shipping wow. out next week Next week? For the first time. Then we have to assemble it on stream. Connor has to assemble it on stream. I'm not touching that shit. I would hate to assemble a UTV. Sounds I awful. I thought we were going to do like a wheel. And every time it landed on something, we were punished while we set up the UTV. I'll so sit like, there while you do it. Like take a shot or... Take a shot to assemble the UTV. <laughs> lick the lithium ion battery. Oh. To get electrocuted. Yeah. Um, a little zap. A little zip zap. I like it. I like it. Is that a chicken? I'm going to customize it. We're gonna, can we paint it pink? Spray paint it pink? Yeah. It'll I'm look done. so cringe because it'll be like blotchy spray paint. Ew. It's bother me. Why? Oh. Thanks. Fair enough. Do you want the UTV to work? Uh, I don't really care. I thought we were going to push it down this hill. Yeah, I'm and down to push it. Tow it back up in the truck. Actually, I was going to take a, um, oh, I'm blanking on the word. What's the saw that you can put against the wall, cut through the wall, that goes, like, in and out? Uh, sawzall? Sawzall. I was going to take a sawzall to the floor of the UTV so we could flintstone it, you know? Like, run on the ground. It'll get rid of our warranty, but who cares? No, it's fine. I think it'd be really fun. I've got to, um, 
Remember where I think it was S fan hit his car down here and like pulled the skirt off? Right yeah. There? Yeah. I've got to fix that because it's fully collapsed. Oh, I love that. The Thank ditch. you, S fan. So, no, I don't think it was his fault, but. No, it's his fault. It's from Paul the Water. You're a good goat. Yes, you are. Kayla seems like a nice person. Kayla's a lovely person. She does. It's Connor's wife. Hello, goat. Attack Maya. Kill. Easy. She loves me. How was the Wi-Fi in pasture? Uh, I had no problems. You, I I effed once in the, when I went to the chicken coop the second time, but the first time, no problems. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Oh, Jesus. God. <laughs> Thank you. Elsa Tanks just subbed at tier Same. three for twelve months. Same. Look, I have a bird now. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much for the tier three. You're crazy. All right, I gotta go pick up some supplies. I'll be back. Okay. Also getting applesauce. Yay, applesauce. Unsweetened applesauce, no cinnamon. You guys want to know why he's getting applesauce? I'll tell you why. <clears throat> because we need to, jeez. We need to do vet work on the donkeys. The donkeys need their feet done. Um, and Alex. Oh, you're too late, man. He missed it. Um, where is... Where are those things? What the heck? Okay, well, we need to do medical work on the donkeys. Oh, here they are. Um, uh, because they need their feet done and they need vaccines, but they're not ready to do all those things voluntarily. So the vet can give them... Thank you. The vet can give them a sedative orally. So we got these dewormers and we emptied out the actual fenbendazole out of them or the ivermectin. That's the equivalent. This is ivermectin. This is just a different brand. Um, we emptied them out and we're going to fill them with applesauce. Uh, and we're going to start training the donkeys to take applesauce um, with these so that when the vet comes, uh, it just won't be applesauce that day. Um, and we can sedate them and it won't be traumatic and we can do all the procedures that they need while they're knocked out. Hey, are there any places that you want one of these that you can think of right now? Uh, no. Okay, just let me know. I used the one in the aviary. It was lovely. Cool. If you want, um, we can also put some on the center pole. So we can in the center. Mm-hmm. If you want this. But for now, I'll just say that one. Yeah. You just let me know. I've got eight of them. So, Okay. that's brown. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. The undisputed undisputed champion for the first time. Caleb's feeling better. He might come back tomorrow. Okay. Guys, Caleb quit. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He didn't quit. Caleb put in his two weeks notice because he's a summer intern. And um, it's the end of his internship. Um, but he wrote out a note and everything and then came to me and Connor and handed it to us like very formally professional. and very professionally. We were very proud of him. Um, he was yes. so nervous. And then I'm going to head back down we're going to do the yes. and pasture. Brilliant. Meet yep. I will meet you down there. Brill. Perfect. Um, guys, Caleb, he was just doing a summer internship. So, so that, that was it for Caleb. Um, but yeah, he, he wrote a letter, he like signed it, he was so Don't nervous, giving it to, to me and Connor. And then he asked if he could still have VIP, and I said yes. Beetle. You are the worst. Hey, what up, Nick? Nick, I'll see you Friday. I'm going on Nick and Melina's stream on Friday. Yo, I'll come cable manage Nick's setup. I don't think Nick needs help cable managing. <laughs> Connor. 
Nick's gonna hate you if you talk about his tech. He's got great tech. He's got great tech, he says. I'll replace him. Oh yeah, okay, Nick, you come out here and scoop poop. I don't, I'll believe you when I see it. I mean, this is pretty good cable management. It could be better, I need to get the concealment, but. I mean, solid. The ceiling. No cables in the grounds for animals to eat. Nick, what do you think about this? Check it out. It's all in the ceiling. We got HDMI in the ceiling. Nothing on the floor. Clean. Friday's tomorrow. Yep. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, do you need anything from Lowe's or ATB? Applesauce. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Wicked. Wicked. I'm gonna fill up my water bottle all the way and then we're gonna go do some sessions. Like the title says. It's about time. Wow. I underscore gifted a tier one sub to Hooplop. They have given 1,101 gift subs in the channel. Thank you, Siv. That's so many subs. In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental mineral woman. Do you want me to bring anything down, Kayla? Oh, if you want, you can walk that long grass down. I'm gonna bring the chicken scratch container down. I said it was a long grass. I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. No, I got it. Thank you. Free sub. Chat. Today's a very special day. The chickens are getting popcorn. They love popcorn. Beetle is not getting popcorn because she doesn't need it, but later she can have a little Gatorade as a treat. She loves Gatorade. Goodbye, Connor. Oh my jeez, Louise. Everybody, it's okay. People uh, wow. subbed for the first time. Thank you for the sub. People wow. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna need, uh, God, it's so bright out here, man. What the hell? We gotta change the color of this damn road. It's too bright. Again, I sound like Nick. Wow! Anonymous just gifted ten tier ones. Wow! Thank you for the ten. Anonymous. What's up? Did I tell you guys what my first job ever was? The first thing I ever got paid for in my life when I was like seven years old. We had a pasture like this where the horses lived and we rode them. But you don't want rocks in the pasture because they get stuck in horses' feet. So my mom told me to collect rocks out of the pasture and she gave me a penny per rock. So I had to collect a hundred rocks to make a dollar in a little satchel. It was a terrible deal. Drama. Nugget is bathing. <laughs> She's molting. Wow. Daniel underscore and underscore confused resubbed for five months. Ella would Hello, not. Good, everyone, have a nice day. Smile. Wow. No, I was. Modern Wingfare four subbed for the first time. Thank you, who sub. I was telling them my first job, my mom had me collect rocks out of the pasture, the horse pasture, and she would give me a dollar a rock, which is a horrible deal. 
Oh, sorry, a penny a rock. I wish it was a dollar a rock. A penny a rock. And then someone said Ella would love that job. I said, no, she wouldn't. Chat, that's bad business. That's a really bad deal. She loves rocks, though. Yeah, but... I wouldn't do it for... <laughs> What's your number, Ella? How much per rock to take rocks out of the pasture? How big were the rocks? They were little. I would pick up rocks like this and get a penny. 25 cents. Ella said 25 cents. She runs a hard bargain. Chat, as a seven-year-old, you try picking a hundred of those up. Okay. It adds up. It gets really heavy. They're amazing. Kylie is life-changing. She's fixed the goats, guys. I've done two training sessions with the goats. Kayla has fixed the goats. Kayla's done two training sessions. I think eventually they're gonna understand walk. New cue for the goats. Keep it moving. Walk. When they turn around and try to headbutt. Like it don't care. Should we give him a sandbox? Or a dust box? Or is he just gonna fly away? Big girl halter. How's it going in there? Excellent. Where are you guys starting? Hey, right. Oliver? No. Oh. Hi. Hi, Saren. People pop wow. A pickery born resubbed for four months. <laughs> Maya Hichia. Hey, thank you for the four months. Alright. Sorry, it got a little slow there, folks. I've gotten so many text messages during the stream. Hi. Hi. Slick, Simply, Russell, Luna, Emeru. Well, she said she wanted to come. I just took it as a confirmation. Seer, Nick, Melania, Connor, Eats, Pants, S Fan, JCG, Mitch Jones, E Rob, Britt, Poke, Gigi, Young Jeff, and Cutie Cinderella. That is what I have so far. Sicko Modelina sucked for the first time. That is what I have so far. Hi. 
list so far. There are some other people I'm waiting on confirmations for. For what? Oh, we met. Yeah, Finn is cameramaning. Stepmom is catering. Lud is gonna try to come, but he's not sure if he can. soon it is soon. there I have an agency pitching the event this at the end of this week trying to get it sponsored I know they can get that loud. They get very loud um, on the. There, they fall somewhere in between. Jay Hensley subbed for the first time. Thank you. They fall in between the threshold for pain and the threshold for permanent hearing loss from prolonged exposure. My asthma is up for two months. High siren people talk. <laughs> Thank you for the two months. Is he ah. streaming in cars? I don't know. Um, I asked Nick if he wanted to do a YouTube video for his channel this week, and he was like, yeah. And then I was like, do you need ideas, or do you have something? And he was like, you can shoot some ideas my way. I sent him like five ideas, and then he was like, we could. <laughs> so, I don't know what he, wa what, what he wants to do. Oh, what are you doing? Ah. Nick, tier list, all on the dial. That would be another tier list about who I like the most as a person or something.
sometimes it's a very clear birthday. Today is more of a birthday. Happy birthday! Birthday! There it was. That was a good that one. That was a good one. That was a good one. What's so funny? Hello, birdie. Hello. Hello. Oh, very nice. So, you want to work on the stick a little bit? Good. What do you think? Could you do me a favor for uh, Sunday? Could you put 348 for Siren and 465 for Mia? I forgot to wait. I forgot to put it in. Hello. Are we ready to step up? Or is it see them or do you need me to move it closer? Hello? Hello? I'll move it closer. Good job. Very calm. Oh, well, how much did Mia weigh? 56 chat. Stick trained bird. What's the point of the whistle? Okay, one of the beautiful things about stream is you have to reteach this, you have to say the same thing like a bajillion times. Would you mind explaining the whistle to them? <laughs> so the whistle is what we call a bridge. Hello? 
So when you're first getting... <laughs> Hello. The first step is always to associate the whistle with something, some sort of positive reinforcement. In this case, it's the sunflower seeds. Uh, so she knows that when, uh, when she hears the whistle that she's going to get a sunflower seed. So over the course of training, that association becomes a reward in and of itself. So when, she, when I blow the whistle, if I can't immediately deliver the reinforcer, she knows it's coming. So she knows she's completed the behavior that I'm asking her to do. It's like a clicker for a dog. Exactly. Form of communication. Yes, sir. Clarity. So we wrote this behavior into approximations for Siren. The first thing was just being able to have the stick in my hand while she was on the platform and have her not walk away. Uh, so any step that she took towards me, we considered the first approximation. She was deciding to get closer to the stick. Even if it wasn't obvious that that's what she was doing uh, to her, that's what she got reinforced for uh, until we could have the stick right up next to the platform. And then each time she started getting more confident, we could increase the criteria that we required in order to provide a reinforcer. No one can get so eventually, in order to get a seed, she'll put both feet up on the stick. Mia was on the platform. Sorry, Very good, Siren. Big step. And right now, even though she's not always putting both feet on the stick, she's still getting reinforced because it's new. Just a way to build comfort, huh? Hello. Yeah, getting more confident. Oh my god, is that, a, is that a dog? Hello. Big horse. That's a Doing a great job. Big, big steps. You're a pro. You've had too many seeds. Yeah. Wow, look at her. Chat, she's on the stick, both feet. Yesterday, Holy she put loud. both feet on the stick. Can you come back? Oh, that's fine. See the horsey? She put both feet on the stick, but there was a goat around here, and she immediately took off. Mia. Yeah. Oh, oh, God, there's a... So we are going to stop with the stick, because we knew there was that happening. That is scary. <laughs> Siren! Siren. Are you okay? Oh, my goodness. Are you okay? You want to see? That's kind nice. scary. Are you go. okay? Do you want your food? Come here. Good job. That's so scary. You want your food up here? Nice to see friend. Hello, friend. Look okay. at. Oh, sick. <laughs> friend. Check him out. All right. Oh, mantis. You guys okay over there? Worry about everybody. Mantis. Hi. Mia, you want your food? Wow. Just pick one this course up for the first Simon, time. What are you doing? Thank you. Come on. Good rouse. Come get your snack. Come on. Stand Come over here. here. You want to tell them what you're trying to do, Ella? I'm just reinforcing to go right now for hanging out, even though Sarah was right up against the... Hey, Pop-Pop, wow! Just stick with something. Now you see Tio. Tio wants to step up. Step up. You ready? Yeah. Wow. Yesterday, you were trying to teach Tio, yes, Tio was dancing. Yeah. So you're just trying to catch, associate the up and down with yes. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Maya, how are you doing? Do you just want to come out and see everything this fine afternoon? Just want to come out and say hi? You don't have to step up today. It's a lot. It's a lot for you. Doing a great job. Miley. Chat. Guess how much Tico weighs. Chunky, chunky chicken. Right, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Are you ready? Good job. 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 Good job.
three kilograms. <laughs> 700 grams, 1,052 grams, 650 grams, 2 pounds, 986 grams, 750 grams, 923 grams, 8 pounds, 12 pounds. Oh, how much does Tico weigh? 11. Yes? Yes. Go, Tico. Yes, you can see a foot. You gotta then show the foot, Tico. Wave. That was very happy. We can do better. There you go. <laughs> what, 1,100 grams? Uh, 1150. 1150 wow, something. Tico. 11, went up. 1163. Yes. Chunky, Tico. <laughs> very chunky. Very chunky. I'm gonna try to go on the other side of you, and if it bothers you, I'll leave. You want a sunflower seed? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I said 11.63. Damn close. Good guess. Thank you for the three months. Mia is an African gray. Oh, good for you. Congratulations. Thank you. That's big. Tico is a blue and gold macaw. Say yes. <laughs> she likes that one. <laughs> Does she talk? Um, I've heard that Tico has talked in the past, but I have not heard Tico uh, talk. Tico screams. Tico screams. Very What's effective. That? What's up there? <laughs> Thanks, Jazz. Our parrot is not motivated by seeds, only candy. Huh. That's probably not, not ideal. Not ideal. I would avoid giving them candy. There's a whole bunch of things you can offer. You can offer fruit instead. Nuts and produce. Nuts and produce and pellets and parrot treats. Google, see what your parrot likes the best. Tico's story is... Tico was dropped off in a box at the SPCA, at an SPCA in California. He was rescued by a woman named Michelle Raffin, who rescued all of these parrots and had her own organization for breeding endangered birds of New Guinea. But these four parrots were her personal birds. Um, and as she's getting older and... Um, thank you. As she was getting older and, and reducing her flock size, she donated them all to Alveus to be ambassadors. Um, so all four of her par all four of these parrots to Alveus, um, so that she did not 
so that her parents didn't outlive her in her uh, in her possession. Yes. She wanted to know where they were going to end up. But Michelle had like 500 birds or so in her life. Yeah. <laughs> Really short legs. It's really funny watching her as well. Yeah. You can come down, get some seeds. You're thinking about it. You come uh -huh. like one branch lower. Does she still have her hearing? That's a good question. I, I, I think Michelle does have her hearing. Yeah. You come in. But <laughs> I would imagine it has been damaged in all her years with parrots. My hearing's been damaged. I wasn't even. I feel like. Yeah. When I'm on my porch and the cows are screaming, I feel like I'm losing hearing. Yeah. I talked to my doctor and she was like, yeah, that's probably just normal for you, man. I'm just not going to be able to do it really well. And I was like... Sad. Excited. Kayla said she's lost some hearing from working with eagles. My left ear. It's okay. In her left ear because glove. <laughs> Sometimes it just sounds like wind is blowing. Left-handed gloved <laughs> eagle. <laughs> Did I send you guys a video of that Harris Hawk screaming? Not that it's that interesting because it's a Harris Hawk screaming, but I'm going to show you. It was cute. They go to 10 months. Mad. Mad. His tail <laughs> fanned out. So mad. Chat. So mad. That's the video. She's like, what the heck? Good job, Tico. <laughs> I got my African bullfrog today and I named him Bill. Exciting. Best right, of luck with Bill. It's a good name. Are you ready to go back? Bill Dipperly. Bro. Yeah, she's crazy. Hey, pro. Chat, isn't it crazy how different Tico is, or how different Tico works with Ella? Right <laughs> when I try to weigh them, they're friends. Thank you for the four months, Otters. What are you doing? Yes. What do you think? Dancing? <laughs> <laughs> a little side to side. On a perch that moves, are you there? Yes and no.
she's gonna get chunky. I hope so. Yeah, I know. Where are you going to go? Oh, Miley, come down. Miley don't wanna. I tried to offer Chico some kiwi yesterday, and she was offended. Really? She was like, absolutely not. Weird. She was on the sticker. Yeah. yeah. Out there. Tico wants to keep going. <laughs> Tico, this is where Tico's chunky. Well, that and Tico eats all of everything. Miley is the slowest eater yes. ever. Yes. Do you guys feed them separate? Yes. No, it doesn't really matter. You want an apple slice? Yeah, because Miley eats. Do you want an apple slice? At her own pace. <laughs> oh. No. Disgusting. Wow, I'm so offended. <laughs> so offended. Not seeds. Would you like? Oh, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you. Oh. oh, very cool. Very cool. Here you go. Nice. <laughs> Are you going to go try and steal Tico's apple soy? Seems like something you would do. That is something she frequently does. <laughs> I don't want to work for this. Can I steal yours? Nugget vibes. straight up steal things out of Tico's hand so Tico like hits up the other foot mm -hmm. to stop her. <laughs> Water. To make sure I knew which one was which. Oh. I do that. Is that yummy? Apple. Apple. Yummy. Someone didn't eat their kiwi yesterday. Sorry. <clears throat> Not interested in kiwi. He's a very nice Tico. <laughs> Hi, Mia. Hi. You had a pretty good day on Say hello closer to you. With the camera? Seems like it takes a lot better. What do you think? Smiley. Unmotivated. Yay, kiwi wow, bird. I chose the kiwi first. Impressive. We like the kiwi? We like it? Yeah. No. Okay. Well, we tried it. That's nice. I think you would like scratches if you just let me go. I think so too. Working for seeds. Miley's eating. We got pellets. Doing a great job. It's been a few days since she's been weighed. She's just been. Oh my god. There's really been a lot going on though. Like yesterday, the goats were here. Long tail. That and yesterday, we brought down two chickens. Hi, Miley. There's just been a lot. I don't push Miley really hard. I think she's less, much less confident. Well, it's hard to push your heart when she's on you, buddy. Yeah. 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 She's very much like. I lower her criteria a lot faster than I lower Tico's. I also, when, when I work with her, I don't feel like I can do much just because I can't beat her. I feel like I need to be able to beat her better because she just offers nothing. I feel like a lot of what we do with Miley is still building trust. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. <laughs> Still reinforcing willing participation of all kinds. So I like Tico likes to come out and participate. It's I really think it's nice. reinforcing for Tico to come out and participate. I think that alone is reinforcement plus the additional reinforcement of actually getting to She enjoys it. I do think. Sweet that potato. Tico less afraid now. Yeah. Oh. Because I also think that Tifa is a little bit more knowing that she's a bit more hesitant Sweet day, though. You know, coming in her space. I don't think she would fly to her at us. <laughs> yeah, I'm just worried. Um, I don't want to make it. But I don't think we should really. It would be a different direction. Like she didn't drop that chat. She threw it out. Yeah. <laughs> Things in disgust. Oh, the other slice of apple. Steal it. 
nailed all of the tasty produce. Miley's still working on those two pellets. Yum. I'm really slowing down, chat. Hi. Winnie? How are you guys doing? Hello. Hi, Winnie. Hi, Winnie. Hi, Thank you for the 12 months. Turks caps are blooming. Yeah. Popcorn for parrots? Ooh. It's bird safe popcorn. It's just the corn and. Is it the palm oil? Chat, mm -hmm. it looks like butter, but it's not. It's, pa it's red palm oil. Well, that's what they actually use for movie theater. Popcorn is red palm oil. Oh, really? Tico, check this out. Tiga wants popcorn, but then I kicked this, and then she got mad. They all really like the red pot oil pellets, like especially when they're fresh. So I'm curious to see if they really like the popcorn. Miley wants the popcorn. <laughs> She's looking at like, what is that? What is it, Miley? Thank you. <laughs> Chat, they get popcorn twice a year. I think the last time we made it was Christmas. Yeah. Last time they got popcorn was on Christmas. It was a very special day. No, we made some for them. We made some grinds. We did grapes and popcorn. Other popcorn toy. As opposed to like hanging from branches. Other popcorn toy. Hello. Oh, she's on the door. I saw this, Kayla, I saw a great name in chat go, hi from her brother, and I didn't know what that was, 
And he says, um, hi, Kayla from Sawyer, your brother. <laughs> hi, Sawyer. How you doing? <laughs> when I first typed that, I was like, what is he talking about? <laughs> you got new shoes? Sweet. Wow. Hey, man. No. <laughs> Pasture? Pasture. Winnie time. Quiet in the chicken enclosure. Yeah, <laughs> he said new well, intern just chicken dropped. Chicken not, <laughs> Didn't Sawyer just say you want to be a zookeeper or something? A couple days ago. I don't know if it's still the same. <laughs> No goats in the aviary. Hello. No snacks right now. Empty oh. hands. The goats would love popcorn. Kylie's all the way down there. Her horse is all the way down there. Uh, wow. Yeah. Nice, Kayla. Going good. Baby cow time. Chicken. No goats in the pasture. Oh, it's right. Oh, God. Someone said this feels like an obvious stream. Is that a bad thing? Is it too low octane for y'all? No. They're on the, they're by the knife block. They're yeah, on the I side of the knife block. The slide, Do you want them? Baby cow. <laughs> Ready. Donkey. Baby donkey. Doggy. Looks round. Did you get all the stompies green? Probably. Chat wants us to do backflips. Thank you so much. Uh, Turka knows the amount. I uh, I don't know what it is, but I'm so glad you got it. Thank you so much. That's sweet. Big halter. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> New big halter. Easier? Maybe. Serana's just watching. That's great. It's so deliberate. I'm gonna go around the other Hello, Serrano. Serrano. Halter? Halter? So cute. She's a waste. I'm sorry, bud. You're doing great over there. <laughs> wow. Pro. Understands. The pink suits her. I agree. It's so big. I know, it's, it's huge. <laughs> In her eyes. Chat, she had a full halter before, and this is a colt halter. We can like really squeeze the smaller one, and it does. We can get it on her, but it's... yeah. <laughs> <Quite good. laughs> She's come a long way. <laughs> wow.
What's the difference? Yeah, they're both uh, full F-O-A-L versus C-O-L-T. They're both horse halters. Just one of them is for a younger horse. <laughs> What's the whistle do? It let her knows it lets her know that she's doing the right thing. It marks the behavior we want to see so that we can if we can't reinforce immediately. They still know that that behavior is what we want to see. Yep, 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 yep. Depends on building association with food. She likes food. She does. She likes food. Like food too. Just yeah, he's just watching the session like like you guys. <laughs> the audience. A live audience. Is it your turn? Does it moo? Yes. She very insistent when she's hungry. Does moo. Mm -hmm. And that's her poop. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she makes a lot of She does. Of very heavy. The system in action. <laughs> the rope system. He's starting the honks. He's he's revving up the honks. Here he comes. He's revving up. Ellie underscore Rodney resubs for five months. Ellie, thank you for the five months. What's up, donkey? Lockflex, thank you for the five months. to watch. Do you want to see it really, it'll really be more interesting to watch them, but this is the cute thing that's around us. Yeah. Chin? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't quite get it. My favorite is when he, he like puts his lip like over the edge of my hand. It's pretty cute. <laughs> They're very cute. Chad to start to get in the, the applesauce shooters in Chin? their mouth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do you see the upper lip? <laughs> upper lip close up. Chin? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs> Good doggy. I did scratch inside his ears the other day. What did he think? He did enjoy it. Did she ears? Chin. <laughs> so intentional. Oh. He's just like, this is where I put my face. <laughs> How old is he? Uh, we don't know. It means you can touch their mouth. Yeah, that is, that is very nice. That's a great start. Um, it's nice that he like, he he does occasionally really like chin. Like I can feel his teeth with yeah, my hand. Yeah, that's great. 
Um, and he just kind of did that on his own. We don't know how old they are. Uh, you got to look at their teeth to know. So when the vet comes out, um, we will look at their teeth and we will get an age on both of them. A guess age. I did. There was an age. Chin. Chin. Where I was able to kind of... Yeah. Get in there a little bit more. That's a good job. He's amazing. He is amazing. Let's go What's he hover. Let's go orbit Ella. That's why people horse people take horse people are crazy because they look kind of crazy. Ella's trying to fly away. Hello, what are you working on? He's really sensitive about me trying to come over on his right side. I think that's where his. I think he has problems seeing over there. Uh -huh. So, for the longest time, I tried to step over there and he, he wouldn't let me in. So, I'm just working on letting him or having him let me step in that way. See when I'm too distracted to go from this side. That's kind of weird. He doesn't care as much. Yeah. So when she takes a step like she just did, she wants his head to come towards me so she can get to that side of him. Because he doesn't, he's not super comfortable with her on that side. So she's rewarding him when, when he lets her over there. Don't call him a cocaine horse. He's not a horse, damn it. And he's not made of cocaine. Have you been working with touching their legs? Uh, Serrano, yeah. Ella, have you touched all his legs? Serrano? Mm -hmm. Ella can touch all of Serrano's legs. Jalapeno? Can touch his front she can touch Jalapeno's front shoulder. Uh oh. Hey, chicken. Hey. Stop it. No, what the heck? Stop. Stay away from them. See, touching legs. Habanero ain't falling for nothing. His name's Jalapeno. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna break the lock with her mouth. Ten dollars to hop on the donkey. You could. There's no amount of money that would have make me hop on one of these donkeys. <laughs> so soft, <laughs> so gentle. <laughs> I love Serrano's whiskers. So yeah, they're my favorite. I hate people trim whiskers for aesthetics. It drives so me crazy. Silly. Look and at I those can't. Whiskers. They're phenomenal. And I can't feel around either. Without him. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, teeth. Okay. Adrenaline release. Okay. It's like a rouse. 
Stompy, please. It doesn't hurt when they trim their whiskers, no, but they do use their whiskers to feel around on the ground when they're grazing and to keep bugs off of their nose and out of their nose holes. Oh. Applesauce, I think they're going to do next, uh, next week. Currently need applesauce. Yeah, Connor's going to get applesauce right now. Really aggressive adrenaline release. Jalapeno, do you want to learn chin? I think you would learn it very quickly. Well, I am sure. Oh my god, Judy, please. We really need a whistle command? Yeah. We can do a whistle command and a clicker command. Like, we had to make a fly mask command. Because every time they saw a fly mask, like, a hundred people were like, Why are they blindfolded? Imagine being stupid. <laughs> 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 it's okay if you don't know what a fly mask is. <laughs> but if you don't know what a whistle is, you are dumb. <laughs> no chicken. No! My water bottle. You want your green? We need no. Here you go, chat. Scratches, I knew it. <laughs> Chat, if you want to make friends with a donkey that is okay with being pet, scratch the inside of the ears. Look at his lip. You see his lower lip? He's going lazy lip. Because he likes it. <laughs> Your hand's just going to get really gross. <laughs> Indio. He likes scratches. Jalapenos honking. <laughs> Can you hear him honk at all or is it too far?
Honk honk. Honk honk. What do you think? Meh. Meh. Toads. <laughs> yeah, where is he? Yeah. Those two are so good with animals. Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> Hello, cow. Winnie the Moo. Winnie the Moo. Winnie the Moo. Horse. Thank you for the sub. Baby cow. Chat, look at the way she has to throw it into the back of her mouth. Oh. Oh my god. Struggles. <laughs> Good job. Oh god. Going for you. No. Please. Please. The goats are like... Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the 17 months. Okay. Stompy bath. This fancy hose. I love this hose. Oh, so nice. I hated that thing. Cranky thing. Monkeys get to eat in peace today. Chat, who bought this? Who was it? Which one of you bought this? You got a cookie. Have we finally determined Stompy's gender? Stompy is male. Oh my god, here comes the dog. <laughs> He's cute. He's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, why is it on the other side? <laughs> Said me smile. Okay, yeah, thank you guys. I told Connor to mount it there. Oh, nice, good job. It's a good place to mount it, it's smart. Can you ride the big bird thing? No. She's, the big she's, bird thing doesn't weigh as much as it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he's running. <laughs> so cute. Oh god. It's probably not the best move for me today. for 19 months. Hope you're all having a lovely day. Thank you. What's the weather like? Hot. Humid. Oh, humid. It's not that hot. Yeah, it's not bad. Humid. It's not hot compared to what it was. True, 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 true. I think it still qualifies as hot. I agree. Oh my gosh, chicken. This one feels like temperature is 93. 93. Humidity is over 50%. Stumpy? The water's not hot.
faith chicken. In the tub with chicken. <laughs> Yay, tub time. Submarine? Ow. These shiny nails are not it for Stompy. She oh god. She likes them too much. Submarine. Pause champ, submarine. God, Shrez, you're killing it. Everyone's a little with her too. When I come in in the morning, she's almost always just laying in the yoke road by herself, just hanging out. Pause champ, submarine. The donkeys and Sarah were all down by the gate this morning. She was hanging out in the oak grove and stalking the gate. Nice. Good shake. Oh, no submarine. My fingers. He's a big fan of my nails this time around. Yeah. All right. What's the next? You're done. Yeah. I'm 43. Done. She does not want violence constantly. He just wants shiny things. Pause jump, submarine. Submarine! Let's see if we have fun doing this. A fun test. Submarine. Imagine if Keese got as big as Stompy. That'd be a lot. A macaw, Stompy size macaw. You lose your whole arm. Yeah. You look up like the ancestors of vultures. They were huge birds. They're called paragons. With teeth. Every time I look up prehistoric birds, and it's like wingspan, 27 feet. <laughs> oh my God. Just a school bus or something. How much do harpy eagles weigh? Harpy? Yeah. I mean, male harpy can be like 8 to 10 pounds. Uh huh. They can be obviously a lot bigger. They're so big. Nine can be large. But females can weigh 14, 15, 15. 14 pounds. Maybe even bigger. I don't know. 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 No ducks in the pasture. Harpy eagles are very large. Very yes. Big. Hello, doubt. But like, I don't know, the condors are really heavy. They can be really heavy. 
I think there's some species of old world vulture that are also like that tip the scales at like 25 pounds. 25 really pounds. Just... 13 to 20 pounds for harpy vulture, says Google. <sighs> Yeah. Big bird. Chat, how long have I been live for? Kylie. Hello, Beetle. Yay. Do a training session later, ma'am? Oh, she's so hot. Morning dew drop reception Ouch. for 18 months. Yo. Who's the new goat? Kylie. This is Beetle's mom. That's Beetle. Nicer than Beetle. Yeah, she's just better than both of them. My finger. Why are you yeah, it? too much. It's okay. Salty. Um, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna do all day. Here, I'm really, really slowing down. I feel like it's making my congestion worse. Or maybe I took Dayquil this morning. I feel like it's wearing off. Do goats like to bathe? No, they hate water. They do okay with water crossings because I worked on that when they were babies, but they do not like getting sprayed with water. It's actually a defense tactic here at Alveus. We have water guns. Water. Kayla's training. Wow. I don't have treats, so it's really <laughs> Look at the squad. The goat herd, it's an Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> Some swans can be 30 pounds. Are you sure? Um, I guess they're really dense. They are really dense. I think the cool one off the side of the highway in Alaska. They're big. They're like big. Oh. Eagle, golden the eagle. Eagles. Philippine eagle. It's really pretty. Chat, hold on. You can look at Polly in prison. I gotta blow my nose. Hold on, hold on. largest birds of prey in the world. All of these are bustards. Trumpeter swan. Yeah, this is oh, 13 30 largest pounds. raptors. Sorry, Chuck. Harvey, so not the largest eagle in the world. The case can be made that harvey eagles are the most powerful. Their wingspan is shorter than most other birds of prey to allow them to maneuverability and their habitats of dense forests in Central and South America. 
Philippine Eagle weighs eight kilograms, wings we have two meters. African crowned eagle, Eurasian eagle level, golden eagle, stellar sea eagle, nine kegs, two and a half meter wingspan. Marshall eagle, leopard faced vulture, weight 10 kegs, wingspan of 2.8 meters. Bearded vulture can have a wingspan of three meters. So that's a nine feet. There's a goat on my car. California condor can weigh 12 kilograms, wingspan of three, nine, three meters. Ooh, that's a large bird. Why? What? Her front feet are on my mirrors. I. Andean condor says their weight can get up to 15 kilograms, so they can have a wingspan of 3.3 .3 meters. 15 kilograms. New countertops? Yeah, sorry. That's There's over 30 pounds. Uh, we switched, it was particle board over there, but we would get it wet and then, um, and then it expanded, like the particle board expanded. Uh, so now it's butcher's block. And it kind of matches the floor. Unless he's out, I usually just turn it off when I leave. <laughs> yeah, Can you make the same command for uh, clicker and just replace the word whistle? Clear. Okay. Go to studio. Okay, check out these improvements. Look at framed out AC unit. Whoa. Amazing. Connor did that yesterday. And then new countertops. It looks so good. Butcher's block. They oiled it yesterday. Wow. And then Connor caulked it yesterday, but now he has to sand it because he did kind of a not the best job. But it's okay. It just has to completely dry. Pretty nice. Same sink. Way better. Way um, better. I'll let the shins out probably after you do the crows. Okay. Um, I don't know if the crows are. I mean, they're crows. Yeah. Um, I'm probably not going to be alive for much longer anyway. <laughs> so we're good. Thank you for letting me orbit. Bye, chat. Kayla said bye, chat. Yep, clock. Okay, 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 okay. Let's, uh, I can't tell if anybody's up there. I don't want to let the dogs out if there are any contractors. Who am I kidding? There's no contractors here. There are never any contractors here. <sighs> Kayla and Ella are the best. I'm not sure if that was like... I think that was lower octane than it normally is just because I'm dying. Ella just went inside, so the dogs are inside with her. Yay! A doggy! You wanna go for a little run?
Can you get him? Get Mavi. Go, 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 go. go get Mavi. Go get him. Go in. Go get the dog. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Thank you so much. Come on. My dog speak English. Come on. Belle, there's a ramp on the other side, ma'am. Go down the ramp. You're too old to jump off of that. There's a little- Oh my god. Oh my god. Come here. On that side. Go. 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 Hi. Hi. Okay. Okay. This way. Come on. This way. Bella, come here. Come on. Maverick. Tell me how she understands when I'm like, go inside and get the other dog because he doesn't hear that I'm out here, but she doesn't understand to go the other direction to get down the ramp. That's crazy. <laughs> I thought she was smarter. She is smart. So I had the, I met the tiny house transporter out here yesterday so he could uh, get a feel for the area and, and see what his path was to bring it in. Uh, and he said, I have a couple options. I either have to clear this whole thing. So he's got a straight shot from there through the gate, um, which I don't want to do because it's a bitch to clear all this. I, I really don't want to do that. And then the other option is to rip this out. So. I need to cut the steel on this side here, um, wrap a chain around this, pull it up with a bobcat, open it to the side, and then put some fill dirt here because he said if he tries to bring the truck up with the tiny house, the tiny house is going to want to fall <laughs> down this hill, so I need fill dirt all right here. Um, so it's like a straight road so he can fit through there because this is a 14 foot gate um, and when it's mounted on the truck the tiny house is 14 feet wide so he was just like you're just going to want to take that out which I agree hi guys this is where the falcon enclosure is at right now It is framed up. Um, now they just need to stick everything on it. Um, it's got a deck. This is the vestibule. This whole thing is the vestibule. Little well, A-frame house vestibule. This is the inside area. So this is all going to be solid and enclosed. And this is the outside area. Um, so, we got him to put some extra braces on these pieces of wood up here um, because some of the cuts were a little, like they're out here, think donking on the wood, you know, but it looks fine now. Thank you for the five months. Come on, little eggs. The tiny house is completely done. Yeah, it's completely finished out. Fox enclosure is completely done, ready to go. Um, every 24 hours, I call Parks and Wildlife. <laughs> I call the same person, I leave a voicemail. Every 24 hours on the dot, I say, hey, just calling, because we need to get a game warden out here, because we need to get a fox out here. 1,000 bits 
Thanks for the stream today, considering you are not feeling the best. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Um, uh, for sure. Uh, there is grass growing in here. I don't want to walk in here because I don't want to step on the grass, but, like, I don't think you can see it because of the camera. But there is, like, little grass that's growing all up in there. Very exciting. Waterline? Um, for my tiny house. Give you a little tour. This is the waterline. When they bring the tiny house in, um, they're going to pull up here and come this way. So we need to cut these limbs so it'll fit through here. Um, oh yeah, this, there's no pipe laid in here yet, um, but waterline only needs to be like three inches under for, for insulation. So it's okay. Ow, okay, there are branches, watch out. Um, so yeah, this is, this is water. Whoa! 500 bits. It was so nice to see Ella's and Kayla's faces light up when they work with the animals. Aww. Generally seeing anybody's face light up brings joy to my heart. Yay! I love what you do for animals and humans through Elvius Maya. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, then they are gonna drop it right here. These are the bounds of the house. This stake and this one. <laughs> Uh, that's all she wrote <laughs> in between um, and then this is ethernet and electricity. This pipe is all laid down um, And it's deeper. It's a couple feet down um, So all this needs to be closed up uh, And they're gonna drop it right here and then uh, And then drive out this way and they get a loop out Should be easy peasy. You're gonna level it out with some cinder blocks. I'm not putting a pad under it. They're just gonna level it. I'm gonna put some lattice at the bottom of the house probably. So it's not as ugly. Um, and yeah. Huge house. Yep, yep, huge house. All 350 square feet of it. Where's little eggs? Short stack. There he is! Look at short stack. Height compared to this rain holy. Come here, bud! Mammy! Mammy! He found something. He's hunting. Come here! Are you peeing? Come here! We're doing a height comparison. He's about as tall as a rain lily. Thank you for the sub. Hello. Okay. <sighs> Mavi will fit perfectly in the tiny house. Keep up, little man. I don't hear you. Keep up, buddy. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. My tiny house was built by a company that makes tiny houses. Way there. That's the teardrop. <laughs> I 
have to go to the bank today to get a cashier's check because I have to go make the down payment on the tiny house this weekend. And then I have to bring in my fill dirt and rip out the post so that they can deliver it. And then I need to get a septic system installed and my permits from the county. And then I move in. Hook up water, power, ethernet. Move in. You want to break in the shade? Yes. Itchy bike. Okay. You okay? Tired? Good boy. No shade anymore. Sun went behind a cloud. only like three things easy <laughs> not the easiest things but I guess if you if you think of it just quantitatively yes it's only a few things that need to be done <laughs> that need to be done oh my gosh <laughs> it's like, like all I have to do is make a million dollars and get a really hot wife and then everything will be good to go so that's only two things <laughs> Tiny house, 350 square feet ish. No, my ankle's fine. I think my ankle's cured. Oh, wow. I think it's fine now. Mom, Abby. I just saw something kind of neat and I was not gonna show you, but now I want to. Where'd it go? Um, the rain. Wow. Hell Kaiser is subbed for eight months. Has Stolen brought... phone alert. Stolen okay. phone alert. That's really not Stolen funny. phone alert. Um. Stolen phone alert. The rain has made it so that the soil is no longer a hard cap. It's like a medium hard cap. See, I can push through it, but there's still this cracking. But it's allowing for these rain lilies to, to come through um, the soil, which is pretty neat. So look, we have a bunch of new growth because of that. Kind of cool. Kinda cool. Rip. Beetle. Man. I need like a hot shower, which honestly sounds horrible right now. Cause I'm so hot. I need like a hot shower and then to have my sinuses drained. My head feels so heavy right now. Like I feel like a bobblehead when I'm walking. white stuff, this stuff. That's limestone. Oh, Maddie. Time to go home. Dion told me to eat a raw clove of garlic. Thoughts? I don't know which way yeah, there you go.
Good job. Bye guys. Do it? Oh, I don't want to. It's a base cure, is it? You guys want to see a sneak peek of something really cool that we're working on? Don't look yet. And my horse lives in here. The donkeys are ambassadors for animal products and traditional medicine. Um, donkey hide is boiled and there's a gelatin that's made out of it. Um, and it's used a lot in traditional Chinese medicine as a cure for lots and lots of detrimental for, for wild donkey populations. They export a lot of donkeys from the US. These donkeys were rescued from a feedlot in, Texas in May of 2021. Um, so, sneak peek. There's a, a second YouTube video that um, that we're working on. Me and Flip are working on for the Alveus channel on YouTube. Um, there is an Alveus channel on YouTube currently. Uh, if you want to check it out, there is a Meet the Team video. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch it because Flip is crazy with it. Um, he just does such a good job. His production is just absolutely insane. So I'm really excited about that channel. Um, and developing more of a YouTube presence for this. I think that's really important. It's just taken a while to get there. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Ugh. Dude, when it's, like, hot and humid out here, and you have the the phone wrist holder on and it's sweaty and it like digs into your skin it's the worst feeling ever it feels so gross Ugh. flip is also really good at editing yeah he's shooting and and directing and editing all of it like i i say what i already know how to say but he like sets up the shots and tells me where to go you know um so yeah he's great he's great Let's, uh, all right, I'm going to host somebody, um, so that I can, I need to go to the bank, and I need to go, uh, home and shower. I need to put in some work on Animal Quest today, too, before I go live again. The plan is to go live again tonight at my desktop for a people candle. We'll see how it goes based on, like, the throat and voice situation, but, um, I don't know, worst case, we just, we do some TikToks, and I want to react to the, the Wine About It channel trailer at this point, and uh, Ambush's new music video. Ambush has a new EP, by the way. If, uh, if you want to check out Ambush's new EP, um, you can look up Ambush on Spotify. It's uh, Aromatherapy. He just released it yesterday. It's a whole album. Um, so, you can go listen to that if you're interested. Um, and, yeah, whoops. I was carrying my water bottle all day. I've actually, I've had so much water today. Thanks, Space. Um, I am rating Brit because I'm a huge fan. I love Brit. Thank you for being here today. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm sorry that keeping streams have been so whack lately because I've been gone um, and then had that sponsor this weekend, but I'm glad you got to see everybody today. I know it's been a long time, so thank you for being patient and for watching. Um, I'll see you guys tonight at home. Goodbye.